Hello friends, this video on understanding numbers part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we learn how to write larger numbers in Indian system of numeration. Now before that, what is this? Why do we have something like Indian system of numeration? Why do we need to know how to write numbers? Numbers is just about writing the digits. Uh, well, not really, because when the number becomes very, very large. Now, as I told you that we learned how to name numbers. Now, every time we do not have a pen and paper with us, that whenever we see a big number, we start, you know, writing units, tens, hundreds and so on. So every time we do not have that. Now, is there any way by which we can represent number in such a way that it becomes easier for us to find out which part represents lakhs, which part represents thousands? Because if we are able to determine that, we will very quickly be able to tell the name of that number. So basically writing these larger numbers in a better way would make it more convenient to read the numbers or to name the numbers for that matter. Now on the screen you see two big numbers or two large numbers and instantly looking at the numbers you might not be able to tell their names because you first need to know the position of the digits only then you'll be able to tell the names. So to make things even simple what is done is we make use of commas. Now where do we put the commas? Now there are some specific areas or specific places where we put commas and then looking at the commas we can easily identify which digits represent thousands, which digit represents lakhs, which digits represent crores and so on and that makes this entire thing of reading larger numbers very easy. So we make use of commas to mark the thousands, lakhs, and crores because see units tens hundreds still hundreds it is very easy because the three digit numbers and I mean it, it's not even a large number as such so only when it comes to the thousands you have a five digit number which starts becoming big so the first comma that we put is for the thousands because see here this is your unit this is tens this is hundreds and here you have your thousand, this is your ten thousand, this is your lakh and this is your ten lakh. So what we do, we separate the thousands. So we put a comma here. So this comma will quickly tell us that, okay, this represents the thousand part. We put another comma to separate the lakhs. Now, let's say that even if we don't write this, even if I don't have this, but just looking at the comma, you will be able to understand which part is thousand, which part is lakh. Isn't it? So now if I, if I give you this figure, just looking at the first, wherever the first comma comes. Now, whenever I say first or second or third, it is always from this side, from your right side. So the first comma that you encounter is for the thousands. So here you see there are two digits for thousand, which means that it is 19,000. Again, you have the next comma, which is definitely for the lakhs. And here you have 78. So it is 78 lakhs, 19,008. Right? Now, if you still had a comma here, so that would mean that anything before that comma is going to be crores. Now, let's look for this number. So, for this number, units, tens and hundreds, we do not need anything. So, here we put a comma. Again, after two places, we put another comma. Again, after two places, we put another comma. So, the moment I put comma like this, you instantly get to know that the digits that come immediately after the first comma, they represent the thousands. The next two digits represent the lakhs and the next two digits represent the crores. So very quickly you can say that it is 87 crores, 16 lakhs, 25,676. So this is the convenience of putting the commas because when you put the commas you know the thousands, lakhs and the crores and they are like kind of separated from each other. And that is why we follow this convention of writing larger numbers. That's why you would have seen that uh, when somebody writes 500, they just write 500. But when somebody has to write 10,000, they write it like this, 10 comma 000, because that very clearly tells that it is 10,000. Because let's say that somewhere it is written 1,000 and 10,000 and 100, like this. Now, looking at them instantly, you might feel that, okay, you might get confused whether it is 10,000 or it is 100 or it is 1,000. But when you have a comma, that comma very clearly shows the number of zeros that you have. Because 
some if, if you have to give say 100 rupee note to the shopkeeper and by mistake if you give a, give him 10000 rupees so that's like a, a huge difference between the two so it is very important that we read the numbers appropriately and that is why this convention is termed as the indian system of numeration Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.